ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap over all that post. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Oh, 
for welcome protection for the time. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons and never be battered. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there! Shoot it down!
break. Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, no, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it! If you find your strength flagging, buy the curative or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes for you, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon at this? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast e'er more fierce than a griffin. But that's the Sovereign's duty, isn't it? When the dragon rears its ugly head, the Sovereign appears among the people and steps forth to challenge it. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the Sovereigns who have served it over time. Though... Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. 
Surely there's only meant to be one arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Mind. Is that all of them? Yeah. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Decisions, decisions. Alas, twould seem I've taken on too much. Behold the state of the village. Tis a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory?
It is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Goodness, how are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it?
Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon? I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Marison.